considering entering ultrasound school but not sure if ultrasound is right for you? Stay tuned, we'll discuss the three pathways for an ultrasound career. Ultrasound is a type of imaging used to diagnose and even treat disease. It does not use radiation like other types of imaging such as x-ray, CT, or mammogram. Ultrasound uses sound waves. Think sonar, which is how it gets its formal name, sonography. Ultrasound technologists are known as sonographers. There are three career pathways in the field of ultrasound. Echo, general ultrasound, and vascular ultrasound. General ultrasound is the first career pathway in the ultrasound ultrasound field. General ultrasound encompasses abdominal, OB, gynecological, small parts, MSK, and interventional procedures. A general ultrasound tech may perform all of the above exam types or may specialize in one subtype. Subspecialties within the general ultrasound category include OB, which is baby ultrasounds, breast ultrasound, OBGYN, which is baby and gynecological ultrasound, MSK, which is muscle skeletal ultrasound, neurosonology, which are baby brains, and pediatric ultrasound. Types of general ultrasound exams include abdomen and the vessels of the abdomen, thyroid, scrotal, hernia, OB, first, second, third trimester, and also specialty OB exams, pelvic, both transabdominal and transvaginal, breast, thoracentesis and paracentesis, transesophageal ultrasound, ultrasound guided biopsy, such as biopsy of the liver, thyroid, kidneys, or breast, FNA and cyst aspirations, OR and cath lab guidance, MSK ultrasound, pediatric ultrasound, neurosynology, renal ultrasound, and ultrasound of the appendix. Vascular ultrasound is the second career path in the ultrasound field. Vascular ultrasound evaluates all of the arteries and the veins in the body. Arteries and veins are evaluated in the abdomen, renal system, neck, brain, arms, legs, pelvis, in transplanted organs, and also in stents and bypass grafts. Vascular sonographers look for structural abnormalities, blood clots, and blood flow patterns within the arteries, veins, grafts, stents, and transplanted organs. Vascular techs may specialize in only vascular ultrasound or may perform vascular ultrasound in combination with general ultrasound and or echo. Types of vascular ultrasound exams include renal artery doppler, abdominal vasculature, tips, lower extremity arterial and venous exams, upper extremity arterial and venous exams, transcranial Doppler, venous insufficiency, aorta iliac vasculature, mesenteric vasculature, carotid, organ transplant evaluation, and post-procedure vasculature such as bypass grafts and stents, and also looks at the IBC and the iliac veins. Echocardiography, better known as echo, is the third career pathway in ultrasound. An echo is an ultrasound of the heart and evaluates the structures of the heart, such as valves and the chambers of the heart. It also looks at the pumping action of the heart. Echo uses a combination of M-mode, EKGs, color and spectral Doppler, 3D ultrasound, IV contrast, and or exercise to evaluate the heart for the presence of disease in adults, children, and the fetus. Types of echo exams include transesophageal echo, known as TEE, transthoracic echo, known as TTE, stress test echo, fetal echo, 3D echo, and contrast echo. So where do sonographers work? Sonographers can work in an outpatient setting, such as a doctor clinic, a vascular lab, an echo lab, an outpatient clinic attached to a hospital. They can provide surgical center guidance, uh, work in a dedicated breast center, work in a high-risk OB clinic, or even an infertility clinic. 
Sonographers also can work in an inpatient setting where they do ultrasound exams on inpatients in the hospital. They also provide operating room guidance, cath lab guidance, and do ultrasounds of the patients in the emergency room. Finally, sonographers can also work in a combination inpatient and outpatient setting. Most commonly, this is in a hospital where sonographers rotate between the inpatient side of the hospital and an outpatient clinic of a hospital. There's many things to consider when picking an ultrasound specialty. One of the considerations is what type of setting do you see yourself working in? Uh, would you prefer inpatient? outpatients, a private clinic, or a dedicated center like a breast center. Most ultrasound schools require that you pick a career track that you'd like to focus on, and you'll take classes either towards training in echo, vascular, or general ultrasound. Most commonly, echo techs will focus only on the echo specialty during their careers, though not always. A general ultrasound tech often has the most abilities to subspecialize in their field, doing only one type of ultrasound, such as breast, OB, pediatric, or MSK. If you are planning to cross-train into a second specialty type during your career, I'd recommend starting out in general ultrasound and then cross-training into vascular ultrasound on the job. I believe this is the easiest method. I feel that sonographers that train in vascular first and then try to branch out into general ultrasound struggle more. The principles learned during general ultrasound are tough tougher to pick up and it's better to focus on those during ultrasound school. While the principles in vascular ultrasound, many of those principles are taught in general ultrasound, so they'll be somewhat familiar when you're picking them up cross-training on the job. So who am I and why do I do this? I'm Michelle McCauley. I've been a sonographer for over 15 years. My specialties are general and vascular sonography. I'm ARDMS registered in abdomen, OBGYN, vascular and breast ultrasound and hold RDMS and RVT credentials. I've worked in inpatient settings, outpatient settings, and also a dedicated breast center. My specialty is breast ultrasound. I've also taught breast ultrasound at the college level where I developed a breast ultrasound course for both mammographers and sonographers in one of the top ultrasound schools in the country. I'm the founder of Sonography Minutes, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing the world of ultrasound. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for our next video on Wednesday morning.